So I decided I had wanted to start working with wood and I had been watching Matthias's videos on YouTube about making his own tools. I found the Woodsmith Our Best Jig and Tool add-ons and I decided I wanted to make something from it. So I decided that I was going to make this sander. And you can see the process I had in cutting everything out, assembling it. It was quite the project for somebody who had never really done anything like this before. Um, I really didn't have a lot of tools, but I went out to Harbor Freight and bought a cheap drill press, which made my life much easier. And you can see here that I'm installing the swivel and getting everything ready. Um, one of the things that was interesting at this point was I was working mostly with power tools um, and I didn't really like that very much. This is kind of what led me to go into hand tools. But the piece came together pretty much as the plan said. It took me a long time to get to this stage as I was doing a few minutes a day. Uh, the glue ups uh, came together nicely. Um, it w the instructions were really clear. I felt that this was a good first project. Um, the hardware that you can see there is actually fairly expensive. Uh, I had a hard time sourcing things and uh, usually had to rely on the internet for purchases. Here's a jig that I made to drill the hole for the basis of the drive. And here you can see me gluing up the drive. And here I'm roughing up the metal shaft in order to get it to adhere better. I'm getting the last few holes together for this to come through and the almost completed stage there. <clears throat> Once I actually got this turned on, I was able to round it out into a barrel shape for running the belt. And there it is almost complete without the belt on. Uh, just getting the final touches at this point. And here it is set up in my drill press, which turned out to be underpowered for this and actually not able to run it. Um, the drill press is fairly small. And here you can see it running. This setup has a fence so that you can get a 90 degree sanding. The board is there to push against to have extra stiffness, but it actually bogs down when you push really hard. This was an underpowered drill press for this. I actually had to modify the drill press to make it taller because otherwise I couldn't actually chuck this in. The nice thing about this is the free spindle over there actually allows you to do curves. But generally speaking, I don't use this anymore as it was somewhat underpowered for what I needed and needs to be chucked into my shop smith in order to work. <clears throat> 